Hello Scapers, my name is Kadios, and thanks so much for clicking on the video. I want to showcase to you guys seven useful Runelite plugins that you can use for all of your long grinds, whether you're a free-to-play scaper or a pay-to-play scaper. Before we get into the video, if you haven't already done so, please click the like button and turn it from gray to blue, and also hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already done so to stay up to date on all my future content. With that being said, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so the first plugin I want to talk about, it's actually a group of three plugins, which they're not so much useful as they are aesthetically pleasing. So hit the wrench icon on Runelite and then go to the plugin hub button at the bottom and search for resource packs. And you'll find a icon of a rainbow paintbrush. Hit the install button on that. And once you do that, there'll be an icon that pops up on the right hand side. Click on that to hit the resource packs hub. And what this allows you to do, it changes the aesthetics of your inventory, your chat box, and also the mini map. And actually I'm going to get rid of my webcam so you guys can see the mini map. Right here. And it's really cool. So this is a gold theme. This is a dragon type theme. Um, crazy theme it's called here's a hardcore Iron Man theme and it's really cool so um, I personally have mine set to the dark theme space nation I like that one the best um, but it's really cool so it gives a little flair to your runescape experience another one I want to mention uh, is type in skills progress bar and once you do that you can actually turn on um, skills progress so it adds tabs underneath your skill icons that show you how close you are to leveling up a certain skill. So as you can see, I'm very close to 91 mining, but I'm not so close to 81 attack. And that's kind of nice because it lets you holistically see all your skills at once. And if you wanted to just, you know, randomly go and, you know, get a skill like mining, you can do that a lot easier. So that's always nice. Then the last aesthetic plugin I have to mention is uh, 117's HD beta. So type in 117 HD beta and hit install. And I actually made a prior video on this. Uh, a card should be on screen, probably up there if you wanna take a look. I cover a bunch of my favorite places um, with the plugin on. And as you can see already, um, this is with the plugin on, and this is with the plugin off. So as you can see, it's a huge difference in the aesthetics and lighting of the game. But I always like turning it on because it's really cool. Uh, but just keep in mind, you know, this does use a lot of your GPU. So if you don't have a computer that has uh, good specifications, um, you can always turn the settings down or just leave it off. Um, but yeah, let's go right into the next one and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so uh, next useful plugin I want to mention, it's called the Menu Entry Swapper feature. So what this allows you to do is it changes the default option that's displayed when you hover over our, a particular thing. So for example, it breaks it down into four categories. There's item swaps, NPC swaps, object swaps, and UI swaps. So item swaps um, can change, obviously, items. So for example, um, the Chronicle, when you normally hover over it, it should give you the option to wield it. But as you can see, I changed it so uh, when I hover over it and left click, it just gives you the teleport option, which is really nice, saves an extra click. And over time, like if you're doing something repetitive, like if you're doing runecrafting runs with a skull scepter, it works for that too. Um, you know, it just saves you a right click, left click. You can just directly left click. Um, something little, but a nice little uh, thing you can do. Another one I like is also NPC swaps. So as you can see, I'm hovering over Garant and it displays trade. Normally that would display the talk option, uh, but now it can just left click on trade and you know he brings up his menu. Another thing too is uh, Seaman Thresnor, all the seamen and the captains. Hover over them and uh, you can just travel. So pay fair, you can go right to Karamja instead of talking, going through the dialogue, which is nice. Um, so that's NPC swaps. Object swaps, um, there isn't really anything for free to play in there, but if you're a member, there's a lot of nifty things like uh, bait, birdhouse, fairy rings are really cool. Um, so I just encourage you to read through that on your own. 
And lastly is UI swaps. So this is really nifty if you want to tan all your cow hides into leather or into dragon hide if you have dragon hide. Um, but what I like out of UI swaps is the shop by shift click option. So I've actually highlighted this on other videos like my money making video. Um, but what you can use this for is whenever you hold shift, you can just buy however many items you set. So for example, I have it set to buy 10. So I'm holding shift with one hand, or you can also keep on it to a mouse if you have that. And you can just left click and buy as many feathers as you want here. So like, look at that. I don't need to right click buy, right click buy. It just, boom, buy as many as you want. Simple. It's really nice if you want to buy a massive amount of like adamant arrows and free to play or runes or feathers, you know, uh, which is useful until Jagex decides to, you know, make other packs like rune packs and arrow packs. But for now, um, it's actually pretty useful. Next useful plugin I want to talk about is the World Hopper plugin. And this is really nice. It does exactly what it says. So you can set a particular key on your keyboard to allow you to, to hop to the next world. So this is nice if you're, say, mining silver ore. Um, so, you, you know, you mine the three silver ore right here. And then instead of having to go to the door, scroll, find a world, um, I can just hit my space bar or whatever button it's set to, and it just auto hops to the next world for you. So it's really nice in cases like this, especially at the Varrock South West Mine, where there's only three ore and you're gonna be hopping a lot. Um, you know, just saves you some time in hopping. Another good use for this is if you are super efficient for like training prayer. If you do like double hop methods, uh, you can use it for that. But it's really cool. You know, it over time as you do it, it does save, you know, minutes and hours in the long haul. Um, but just a nice little nifty trick to do. And what's nice about this also is you can check the quick hop out of dangerous worlds. So if you're a hardcore Iron Man, as long as you have that checked, uh, it will not hop you to a PvP world. So uh, that's always a nice uh, little safety precaution to have there. So the next plugin I want to talk about, it's called the Flipping Utilities plugin. And if you see the little icon of a uh, green arrow with a stock symbol, that's the one you're going to want to download. So what this allows you to do is you can buy any item, and this is uh, not for any Iron Man accounts, it's just for any regular accounts, free to play or pay to play, doesn't matter. Uh, it lets you see what the margin is. So I'm going to want to buy it for you know 170 GP and sell for 177. So what I can do is I can click on this, put it for a thousand. Let's see if we can buy it for just for the video's sake. You know we can buy it for 173. And hopefully I can get some that just insta sell to me. Might not happen though. Never mind. So there's some. Oh, they all sold to me. So there we go, and we can chuck this back up. So I bought it for 173, and as we saw before, um, you can sell them for a max of 177. So we'll just put 175, and hopefully some of them sell. Don't think they will, but we'll give it a second or two. There's some there. But yeah, as you can see, like it tells you, um, you know, the GE limits, how much, how many more law runes you can buy, um, and what profit that you made. So if you go to stats, we can see just on that one flip that I did, I made about 2K profit, and that was in what, like 10, 20 seconds or something? So it's really cool. Um, I highly recommend it if you have a large cash stack and you are a flipper. And I can say I've personally used this on Black Quill back when I was a member, and I would make anywhere from 800k to anywhere to a mil. Um, super useful, so I, I really can't recommend this one enough. Okay, so next up on the list, we have the Shortest Path plugin. Um, so all you do is search it up. I believe it's already on RuneLight. I don't believe it's a third-party plugin hub, 
I could be wrong though. If it is, just type it on the plugin hub, uh, and install shortest path. But what that does is on your map interface, um, you can actually uh, right click and set a target and it actually tells you the shortest distance it takes to get to that location. So, uh, fun fact, I don't know if you guys knew this, but uh, it's actually shorter to get to Varak if you go left instead of going right up this way. Which, when I first found this out, I actually used this shortest path um, plugin and it totally, totally blew me away because when I was a lot younger, you know, 10, 11, 12, goofy Kaidios, I would always walk around here and go up. But as you can see, once you set a path, it actually highlights every single tile for you, which is really, really cool. So this is really great for clue scrolls. If you have a lot of clue scrolls that you're doing, or if you just want to know, you know, the quickest way to get from point A to point B. So that's just a little, uh, little tiny plugin I just thought I would mention. All right, guys. So next plugin I have on our list, uh, it's actually called Time to Level, and this is, I believe, through the plugin hub. So you just type in Time to Level, and this is the one right here from Wow Loop. So go ahead and install that one. And essentially, what it does is it puts an icon on the right. It's a little, kind of looks like a clock or a stopwatch or something. And it's really useful because it tells you how many hours or days it's going to take you in order to level up next. It's actually really useful for, uh, you know, when you have like 97, you know, not 96, 97, 98, stats like that, where it takes a long time and you don't really know exactly when you're going to reach like 99. Um, but for instance, you can right click here, enter what your level is and then how much XP you get an hour. So in my case, at Body Golems, I get about 28,000 an hour. That's without strength potions and without prayer, um, and not really putting it 100% effort in. So you just hit the check mark, and it tells you. So uh, my 99 strength is gonna happen in 10 hours and 50 minutes, as long as I maintain that 28K per hour rate. And you can do that with any skill too. It can be a, a you know a free-to-play skill. It can be a member skill. Doesn't matter as long as you know how much XP you get per hour for that skill. Uh, it'll tell you, which is actually really nice. Okay, and to wrap up this list, I actually have two different plugins that you can install that are actually really useful if you're into content creation. The first one allows you to hide everything on your screen, so it hides your mini map. It hides your inventory. It even hides your chat box. So all you do is you hold control and then hit the H key and it hides everything. So uh, in order to do that, search up is called hide widgets. So go to the wrench, go to the plugin hub, type in hide widgets, install that. And then you can actually set, uh, set it to any key that you want in the options panel. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. You'll often see me doing this for my intros and even my conclusions of videos, but it is really nice. Just, you know, it's clean, nothing's on the screen. Uh, I like it a lot. And then the second one I just want to touch on is a green screen. So this is another one you have to download from the plugin hub. And once you have that, I'm going to get logged out. Once you have that, it's actually really useful if you wanted to make thumbnails um, or get images of your character without backgrounds. So what you do is, let me type in green screen, you turn it on, and you can choose the background to be any color. So right now I have it as light blue, um, but what I do suggest is make it a color that um, your character does not have. And I know that uh, Tiffany here has a lot of rainbows, so it's kind of hard. I gotta choose like brown uh, or something like that in order to get uh, an image of her with this outfit on, but it's really nice. All you do is you take a screenshot and snip it, and then you just paste that image onto, if you Google search, type in a uh, background remover, and all you do is you put that on a background remover, and it's perfect because it removes the blue or the colored part of the background and just keeps your avatar, which is really cool. I use it for my thumbnails every single time. Um, but yeah, those are a couple examples. 
so that's it guys those are seven useful plugins that i use uh, pretty frequently which one of these was your favorite and do you have any other plugins that you would recommend let me know down in the comments and also if you enjoy the video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already done so in addition i do want to let you guys know i do stream live every tuesday and thursday on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook Gaming. So feel free to hop in and say hi. Catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Closing time. One last call for alcohol. So finish your way.